good morning this is kasturi day today i'm start uh, with the discussion of the physical quantities and measurement chapter according to icc syllabus class 8 so i'm discussing this chapter pro, uh, from the last two videos in my last two videos so i'll start with that discussion only continue with that discussion so um, i'm starting with the topic today is consequences of change in density of liquid with temperature okay so when a liquid say water that is heated any wa liquid when it is heated uh, in a beaker or any other vessel then that liquid close to the bottom of the beaker starts expanding when it is heated in a vessel it starts expanding from below when it is uh, heated below only from the bottom then it starts uh, expanding from below okay now the density there it decreases the liquid density near the bottom of the vessel that decreases now what happens when the uh, density decreases the liquid becomes light here water we have taken so water becomes light and that will rise up in the beaker okay now when it is rising up in the beaker what happens there is a uh, space created okay uh, so to take that place to take its place okay the uh, liquid the cool and dense liquid which is outside uh, the water in this case the cool and dense liquid which is uh, in the surroundings and at the top of the beaker that comes down from the upper region and from the sides it comes down at the base to take the place of the liquid which has gone up okay now a uh, kind of current is uh, taking place a sort of current which has it has stuck taking place taking place uh, uh, in the in this setup okay and that is known as convection current okay due to this current the liquid is heated this due to this convection current the liquid is heated here the water is heated now from the for the same reasons liquids are heated in a metallic vessel from below okay the whole mass of the liquid attains some temperature due to this current okay next what happens the consequences of density in gases with temperature okay the gases are also heated up by this convection current okay the air around the source of the heat they starts when they when they are heated during such as burning okay so uh, when uh, some burning is taking place the air around that burning place that becomes heated and it expands the air that is density of the air decreases and what happens the hot and light air that rises up and cold and dense air which is uh, around this hot and dry air what and light air that comes uh, from that other uh, from the surroundings to take the place of the uh, hot and Uh, light air which has risen up the so the convection current is has taken place in the gases also for and uh, this convection current is responsible for the formation of weather other applications of this convection current uh, that is taking place there is a land and sea breezes the monsoon the westerlies even the ventilation of the houses these are also the examples of convection current of air okay now we come to relative density see the ratio it is a ratio relative density is nothing but a ratio it's a pure ratio the ratio of the density of a substance to the density of a water that is known as relative density uh, that is rd is equal to density of a substance oblique tends by that is by density of water but density we know that is it is the mass of 1 cm cube of the substance so we can write rd is equal to mass of 1 cm cube of the substance by mass of 1 cm cube of water okay or we can say rd is equal to mass of any volume of a substance by mass of the same volume of water or we can say rd of a substance can also be defined as the ratio of the mass of any volume of a substance to the mass of equal or same volume of water the density of water is 1 gram per centimeter cube at 4 degree centigrade 
but the substances like wood, cork, vegetable oils, kerosene oil, petrol, etc., they have density which are less than water, less than 1 gram per centimeter cube. So, these substances, when placed in water, they will float. Conversely, substances like stone, sand, iron, aluminium, zinc, gold, silver, copper, diamond, etc., they have densities which are more than 1 gram per centimeter cube or rather more than water density of water. So, these substances will sink if placed in water. Okay. So, more the density of liquid, less the uh, a solid will submerge in it. Okay, <clears throat> more the dense of the liquid, dense the liquid is, more the solid will, uh, uh, I mean less the solid will submerge in it. Okay, next we come to comparison of densities in the three states of matter. In case of solids, the intermolecular spaces are very small. We know that intermolecular spaces are, they are compact. So, intermolecular spaces of this in the solids are very small and intermolecular forces of attraction that is very large. So, molecules of solid are tightly packed in a small volume. Therefore, density is equal to m by b that is solids have a high density due to their small volume. Okay. Now, in case of liquids what happens the intermolecular spaces they are somewhat large, larger than solids. So, the intermolecular spaces are somewhat large and intermolecular forces are fairly large, fairly large compared to solids because uh, they are uh, less than, intermolecular forces are less than the solids but still more than, more than the gases. Okay, so fairly large compared to the solids. Now, therefore, the molecules of liquids are not tightly packed like in the solids. Okay, in a small volume as compared to the solids. Therefore, liquids have a less density than the solids. Okay, in case of gases, the intermolecular spaces are more than the liquids and intermolecular forces are almost negligible. Okay, so the molecules of gases are free to move in any direction and so occupy all the available spaces. So, gases have very large volume. They have high density compared to solids and liquids okay so this is the end of the chapter so uh, please go through this if you have any doubt regarding this chapter uh, in my next video i'll start the, with the question answers of this chapter so uh, uh, please go through this if you have any doubt any questions regarding this chapter please to write in the comment box and I hope you are liking the videos. If you like it, press the like button and share with your friends so that they can also be benefited from this, uh, these videos. Okay. And uh, if you are a new viewer to my channel and not subscribed yet, please do subscribe to get the notification of my next video. Thank you.